Hi everyone, welcome back to our Three River playthrough. Look at how much of the map we've already covered. I'm so used to my 4K map that uh, this feels kind of small. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're actually progressing fairly well, I have to say. We already have our third city, Rose, right here being pro produced. I was about to say, but it is producing stone at least for us. So that is a really, really nice. And this episode we get to continue expanding our rail network so we do have a few things that we actually need to look into and uh, the most important one i think is actually our coal at the moment we are technically only having two coal patches delivering both to barcelona to the wood production as well as to rose that's not really enough and also the warehouse so that's not really enough. Uh, these guys are constantly out of coal, unfortunately. So the plan, even though we do have one coming in here, uh, even if I made that train bigger, he wouldn't be able to bring everything. So the plan is instead to use these guys. So uh, we do actually have a fair amount of coal right here. And if we were to just add this onto here, we could fairly easily allow these guys to just and I head in here. I think that should be fine. Something like that. And then we're gonna have these two kind of happen here. There. No. There and there. Oh, they're not gonna go here. Right. My bad. They're gonna go all the way down here. Yeah, we desperately need the coal trains, uh, coal trains, now you're gonna hear me speak mumbo jumbo. Uh, no, what we actually need is the steel after this is probably the next big investment we're gonna make. I do believe. Because yeah, we do need those bridges so we can start, start making some good stuff out of that as well. Need you. This is fine, that's fine. You should have a split here and one before there. That should be one block for each intersection, which is exactly what we want. Same thing here, everything is fine. So yeah, that means that they can get in here and over here we already have it set up so they can actually go onto this route. So that's fine. That means that we can probably just set up a train going from... That's not what I want. No, 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 no. Give me a new one. Like a completely new one. From there to... Not to the coal mine. We want to go to the warehouse. And we want to have you be black. Because coal is black. And then we can tell you to be empty and go for full cargo. If you're curious on how these routes... Setup works. The logic behind them. And uh, more or less everything that you would like to know in regards to routes. I made a one hour video yesterday going through everything in regards to this window that's named root. So if you want to go have a look at that one and uh, I don't think there's anything that you'll find in that that... Let me rephrase that. I don't think there's anything that you'll find that you won't find in that video. It is very thorough. I was surprised by it myself. Uh, so, what are we doing? Well, we're going from coal mine, we're going to the warehouse, and then we're going back. Seems pretty straightforward, if you ask me. And to do that, we're gonna need some trains. This guy. How long are you? You will not be able to take another one. So we're gonna go coal mine, we're gonna go... So, small tip as well, if you pause the game, then you can actually push on this play button without the train leaving. And then you can clone them and they will not actually um, leave until you push play. Otherwise it disappears as soon as you push play. And you won't have to push play on every single one of them or actually send them out. Which is really nice. So that should actually get everything done here. So we are waiting until we're done loading. And then we check out how much cargo we have available. And then we leave if we are full. And same thing at the warehouse, just reversed. 
Okay, so what is our next goal here? I think our next goal is to really push for... Maybe we should have a look at this. What's happening here? Not much, and that's mainly because we're actually running out of coal, so that is kind of fine. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tell this guy that goes to the warehouse, we're actually gonna get rid of him. I'm just gonna sell him, and I'm gonna get rid of this route as well. That way this guy can be only focused on actually delivering cargo to, to the other guys. I think that is pretty good. I want to actually upgrade this guy as well. If we upgrade him to the larger trains, then he also gets a faster train, which should help. I should allow them to change the lanes here, actually. That would make a lot of sense. Just so if there is guys coming out here, they can go in separate lanes, both of them. And how does this look with our stone here? Yeah, we're like super full on stone. Did we even set up a train to bring stone out of here? Should go up to the warehouse. Yeah, we got plenty of trains actually going with stone. So stone is really secure. Rose is doing a great job there. These guys are doing great as well. Yeah, I think the, the issue we're actually having is... Yeah, you can even see that the production is actually enough. So we just need to get these trains to have fuel and then we're good to go. Of course, that's easier said than done. But yeah, with the extra coal that we get from here, I think we should be able to cover that. How is it going here? Like, do we need another train that goes with, with these guys? Kinda looks like it, right? Let's see if we can put another one of you guys on here. And that should double up the production there. And these guys will bring a bunch of coal. That is really nice. I like that. Well worth it. So where would we want to start producing steel even? Uh, we need... Is it these? Yes, we need the iron mines. Which is kind of inconveniently placed. I guess we could go up here, but then we can't really reach anything. Do we have iron anywhere else? No, we kind of need iron. I think this is honestly the best place for us. How far are we from actually reaching with you? No, you are going to be focused on bricks. Yeah, I'm gonna need another city whether I like it or not, because otherwise these guys just don't have the personnel for it. Okay, so if we build that here, we want to have a city fairly close by. We're going to have this guy go up, and I think I want to thread it through this. I think that looks kind of cool. So what we could do then... We could actually build a city right here. Yeah, you know what? That's actually a pretty good, good way of doing it. If we build this here... Or maybe... Yeah, no, I think that's that's actually pretty good. If we build it right here, then they will be able to reach almost everywhere that they need to. Yeah, and then we can have that Chicago. That's perfect. I'm getting so good, good uh, names for cities this time around. I usually get names that I don't recognize. I think Rose is the only one that I don't really recognize at all. Otherwise, all of these like Lima and Barcelona, I feel like I've seen before. And now Chicago, which I obviously have seen before. Let's upgrade you the first thing we do. I feel like that's a reasonable way of doing it. And then we go here. Can we go and have... What if we go... Yeah, we can fit the station here without even remotely an issue. So right there. We're going to then have these guys go up and somehow try to fit into that. But if we... I think that should work and then continue upwards this way. See, I kind of want to thread these through this little canyon here. 
I just like the the look of that. I like using the the environment a little bit every now and then when you're building stuff. That's kind of why I'm such a proponent for the idea that we should have these mountains. I actually think they make the gameplay a lot more interesting than just having a blank slate to build on. Super much enjoy that. So something like that, we're gonna have an entrance here and we're gonna have an exit over there somewhere. I think is the plan here though. There we go, so that's a basic setup to start with, I think. It looks pretty good. So we have the exit right here. And the entrance on the other side of this mountain pass right here. I think that should be kind of nice. I like how that looks. I don't think we need train length right now, but we probably should start saving up for that. And for destination build range, we're definitely going with the warehouse. And the goods production... Maybe actually increasing the... Yeah, I think we'll go with that. That'll be good. That will be good. So that is Chicago. We are going to need... One of these right here. How are you guys out of fuel? Because this route right here is really bad. I should play some coal storages here. We delete all of these and we can place coal storages instead. That'll keep some more coal available for them. Okay, so once we get some wood we should be able to get that built then. And what do we want to do in between there? Yeah, this is not the greatest. It's gonna be congested right here eventually. But we'll deal with that when we get there. The fun thing with this new... These new uh, metal bridges is that it actually feels like you can kind of get away with stuff that you shouldn't really be able to. Which I enjoy. I like that. That's fun. That's fun. Are we gonna get any wood here anytime soon? Is that a plan? So what else should we do? Well, we do have the stone now, so, or a wood now, so we can actually build our distribution center right here. Now let's see, we wanted the iron deposits, which are these. So how do we catch as many of those as possible? Maybe something like that, because we can't get... Yeah, I think that makes sense. We'll go right there. We'll grab this guy and we'll go swoop. Get the station. I really like these stations. I know I said that I don't want to be using blueprints too much in this playthrough. But I mentioned it before and stations is one of those things that are just really mundane to build. So uh, we will actually be using and have been using station blueprints more or less exclusively. So this is not a nice feature actually. I think I mentioned it in a previous stream, but uh, you actually have this button right here now. It says generate new. So if you place a sit uh, station like this and it just gets a generic name, you can just click that and it will become Iron Man 1. Not Iron Man, but Iron Mine 1. Really nice feature. Previously you had to like delete the station and put it back on there and it was just tedious. Busy work. I don't like busy work. That's not fun gameplay. So uh, makes sense to fix it. And I just realized what I haven't done. I have not put down any houses here so we won't have any workers to start working this. But that's kind of fine. I don't think that matters too much. We can do that right now. We'll get some workers. Should probably have... Should we go for the same setup as in the other places maybe? Six houses, one in between and then six houses again. 
That might be the better way to do it. How does it look with wood here? Yeah, the, the fact that they're running out of fuel constantly, that's super annoying. I hope that that gets fixed. We do have a little bit of fuel here, so once once this guy finally gets out again, he can go and refill it. Refill everything. But yeah, them doing two kilometers an hour. Not great. There we go. Fast forward a little bit just for all of these trains to actually make it out here and now it seems like they are actually doing okay still running out of fuel with these guys every now and then but i don't think i can do too much about that oh well that's fine we are working on this stuff so now that we have wood we should be able to expand this a little bit further something like that and then we do something like actually i should have it here And now we're out of stone. Just never ends, does it? <laughs> so, uh, how many trains do we have actually? Kind of having too many trains doing this to begin with. Let's have you leave. Build another station right here just to have for cargo. Those two. Maybe even do this. That seems pretty good. And then the next one comes from here and you can go straight out on the... I guess out on the route. We're gonna use a bridge for this eventually. A lot of this is gonna be rebuilt with bridges. Once we fill up a little bit here. So this one we can call Rose Cargo, right? Cargo in. We'll do that. We'll tell all of these guys. Hey, can you go here instead? How about that? And then they will go around. Yeah, that, that makes a lot more sense. I like that. I like that. And then we just put down a bunch of signals and we call it today. Yeah, now we're seeing these leave as well. And we're starting to get some stones. So we can finally connect all of these. Very good. Okay, so there we go. We have most of this stuff up and running now then. Gonna go with my patented edge setup as well. One there. We're gonna go to you here. And we're gonna have one there. And then we're gonna take these and do something like that. They don't need that much beautification because they're not going to actually produce anything inside of town. So uh, whatever we are producing, that should be plenty. And then we'll go to here, leave one space. I am going to set this up and then we'll see how far we'll make it. Okay, so iron mine has been built. So that's good. Actually, maybe we do want to have... Hmm. Hmm. Bring coal from over here or utilize the three coal that we have here. We can't produce that much out of one coal patch, right? It's like... Actually, it's pretty good. It's 90 per minute. But that is 60 per minute without the bonus. Three of those is 120. How much does a smelter actually need here? So smelter consumes coal and iron. It doesn't say how much though. Okay, so if I were to build a smelter, say... Here somewhere. So this one consumes coal, minus one. This one consumes iron, minus one. Two, two, two. So for 60, 180, 300, and I think that's fine to start with. 
if we get some coal, not iron mines, but if we get some coal up and running here, actually we only have one coal, I thought we could at least reach two of them. Okay, we might as well start with this. If we're able to do it with one, then we'll do it with one. If we need more than one, then we'll we'll do more than one. Why can't I build iron mine? So I don't have stone. Surprise! We need that. We can use the sheep roads for this. There. I guess we can connect these coal mines as well. There's no reason to not have them connected at all, right? So if we connect that, then we can have this guy just head down this way. And we can produce fish over here as well. And this guy can absolutely not be here. Right here, maybe? Guess that's a fairly good spot. Let's go with that. You should have roads. Boom, that stuff, and we're gonna have production multiplies if certain number of structures are adjacent, okay? I'm actually gonna check what this mathematics is. So production zero requires a kiln, we'll pay, place a kiln. We're now producing... Again, zero, because we don't have any workers for this. So let's put some workers on that. And we're out of stone. How are we constantly out of stone all of a sudden? We're producing 15 stone every... What? Yeah, these are just full on stone. And we are... Desperately trying to resolve that. So if we go back to Chicago, can we finally actually produce something here? If we connect these. Something like that. How much are you producing now? We don't have any craftsmen, so we need to actually produce some craftsmen. We can do that. That's fine. We'll add a little bit of this stuff and a little bit of that stuff. Something like that. I guess we can make this fancier side craftsman then. Not that much fancier right now, but it's definitely gonna become. And we're out of bricks. Do we need to add more trains to deliver bricks? Probably do. We only have one train that does that. And that's standing right here in weight of this. <laughs> Yeah, we desperately need to get this metal up and running so we can avoid some of these places. Anyway, we are producing six every minute now. If I place another one of these, what happens then? Nothing, because I don't have any bricks. So that's 13 every minute, and that's with a full... No, that's not full. Why are we not having... Oh, because we have, like, no... No stuff here. We want to have fisheries. Something like that. That should bring some more people because fishes will bring in... How many? An extra five people maybe? Ten people even. So it will triple the amount of people we have here. Maybe I should give them some, some water as well. I've heard people need to drink. Weird concept. Okay, let's see if that fixes it. If we do get some personnel, we should be able to have that... ...badly functioning, at least. Oh, this is, this is a great way of building. Jesus Christ, Kenomi, what are you doing? You out of your mind? You have to actually put signals in your intersection, otherwise it doesn't work very well. 
There we go. Now maybe they won't be standing still here forever. <laughs> Yikes, that's stupid. Okay, and they, now they can pass there as well. And this is also split. Very good. Much better. Can only be better with bridges. Still looking for some more stone to be able to check the production of this. And we need way more people. Like, where are everyone working? Are you all working here? Is that true? What if I pause these guys? If I disable them, they're just gonna stand here. Okay, so it's useless to do that as well. Good to know. Can at least one of you guys go over and work here? Why are we running out of wood all of a sudden? I think it's because this is getting so stopped up. Yeah, this is just super slow. We have zero people working with, with the fish production. I don't need that many, just a few of you starting there and then we have three times the people actually working here. You do realize that, right? <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, we needed wood for something. I was gonna place down a more work for them, that's probably what they want. But yeah, we're gonna need a... a uh, market for the fish fisheries. And I guess these guys are going to need a market as well. Right, we learned in the last episode of our large save as well that we should be using way more... of the... Let's see if I actually have them here. We do have props, but we don't have, and we have palm trees, but we do not have the statues yet. Yeah. Statues are really good, apparently. So, uh, if we can get that, that's gonna make a large difference. I'm gonna pause you. Are you guys working in these or something? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, it looks like they're working in these. Wish there was a hotkey to pause these. Now they are slowly coming back to the workforce at least. Let's hope that some of them goes and actually work for the fisheries. Okay, looks like some of them might have gotten water. Why do I get the sign for them getting... Huh. What are these green symbols? That's the sign that you get when you place a church. Why am I getting that now? Oh, there we go. That's one of them actually doing fish at least. And these are also not doing anything. You are producing a little bit of fish. You are producing a little bit of fish. Okay, so maybe we, we will get this solved eventually then. Because yeah, we're producing four fish right now. And we need eight. So we'll get there. Slowly but surely we'll, we'll get there. Why do we have... Service increase happiness. Services increase happiness. So it's not... I've always thought that... This icon means that... They have received like church services. But no, it just means that like... Services increase happiness. But now it's red. I don't know. <laughs> Weird, man. Should probably increase our people size now. It's starting to become expensive to do that, so. What are we what are we going to do with this? Why can't you guys just go and actually work? Still don't have that much fish. I thought at least some of you guys would be getting fish. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. Now these guys have water as well. And we have one fish. Eat your fishes. Come on guys. Okay, so here we do have fishes. Uh, two coins per inhabitant. Services, attractiveness, taxes and rest speed is way high. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we'll find a solution for this. This will be fine. It'll take us a little bit, but uh, 
I think we were just a little bit too eager, eager on actually building this out. So I'm gonna go right here eventually. If I could have enough wood out of this. I think we're gonna have to wait with wood and anything that goes to the warehouse that's not stone. Probably gonna have to wait a little bit. Now we should be getting plenty of fish for everyone. Yeah. And that should mean that we're getting more and more personnel, and that means that we should be able to start placing down these as well. So you'll cover all that. This guy will cover everything right here. You there, and then you right here. And once we have that, everything should be up and running, right? There we go. That should make everyone a little bit happier as well. We actually have food everywhere. They should be starting to move in here very soon. We have fish where we need it. These guys can probably start producing again. This guy can probably start producing again. And we are producing steel. Would you look at that? So everything that we need to do now is add a train that goes from here or down to our warehouse. Uh, it will not do passengers, it will load and unload and I'm actually going to put a filter on this to make sure it doesn't bring anything that is not intended. And we go with full cargo and empty cargo. And we add a train to that selling it to go on this one that color does make absolutely no sense grayish color maybe could make sense and both of these should be and, and i think if we add three trains that should probably do it and then we can wrap up this episode by having a look at these guys as they're making their way back and forth. Preferably with a little bit of speed. So nice to be able to speed up the game again. After playing on our big playthrough for so long. This is great. <laughs> this is great. So how much are we producing now? We're producing 14 and if I place one more we are producing 27 and if I place one more what is that? What the shit is that ratio? Do you get any more out of more than two? Because we added one more now and didn't actually add anything extra to this guy. So maybe going with two is like a better option. No, it's because this guy doesn't have a connection. Okay, yeah, you want to have as many of these as possible then. Around these. Okay. So then we're gonna do this. I'm going to take these guys. We're gonna go you. That is not at all what I was intending. So we're gonna go boom, 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 almost. Come on. Give me some bricks. But we're gonna wrap up this episode. Why do you do this? Come on. There you go. That's it, that's it, and then we do something like that, bring these around, and that should actually produce a shit ton more than what we need. <laughs> we are still only using 60 a minute and we're producing 108, so yeah, that should be everything we need for, for our uh, metal bridges. And we can finally get over the, the rivers as well. So I guess in the next episode, uh, if you have any requests for the next episode, I guess you can leave them down below. Otherwise, I have like two options here. 
either we're gonna try to pass the water at some point. Maybe try to get down like... I don't have anything that's super thrilling over here. But just for the sake of it, we could like... I don't know. Cross, cross over here and build like a massive city here. That is only a city. That could be an option. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments below how you feel like you'd like me to proceed. Otherwise, we're probably gonna spend the next episode building bridges where they're needed. Uh, like uh, right here, right here, right here, right here. Every intersection, more or less. Gonna need a few bridges. But it's gonna be a lot of fun. And we are not producing steel, so we are even able to do it without too much of a hassle. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, then uh, click that like button. If you want to see more bridges, let me know down in the comments as well. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye everyone.